but knowing it's knowing right? the person, he's kind of you know skittish anyway. Is it cheating if your girlfriend sleeps with another girl? Is there sleeping going on? Uh, no. <laughs> Why do we say sleeping with? I don't just know. A nice way, but you can't really say two girls fucking because that just sounds weird too. Yeah, because we don't really fuck <laughs> like not in the normal sense. No. So I don't know. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I have a hard time wrapping my mind around some things that other people feel. Maybe I should just invite those people on the show and we can talk about this. We can just talk it out. <laughs> That's one of those to each their own kind of right. things. Right. You know. I just, I guess my big thing is like, how can you be in a relationship with somebody when you're so obviously different than that person? That's the key. But because no let's just leave it at that that's that's a good question because that works for both sides you know like for the reciprocator why would they stay with a person who's so much different right, and right. oppresses them so much well the thing is, is okay so we all kind of have the same goal like okay two people have the same goal in the end they want the house with the white picket fence on a mountain wherever you know so you have that same ultimate goal but your route to get there is so vastly different it how can it actually work if you have the same goal in the end if your actual journey there is so different from the person that wants to that same goal i don't know well, see, that's the thing. If we could see the big picture from the very beginning, right. it wouldn't be much of a journey. So if we knew that it all either A, mattered, or B, didn't matter, what would be the point? So it's just one of those, why do we waste so much time? Right. With stupid shit. You know, I mean, if, if you spend two years with somebody that you're just miserable those whole two years, well, guess who's getting fucked there? You. Right. You know? You. So this way make better decisions right but sometimes we think we're making the better decisions by sticking with people that it's like oh but just another month just another day just another week well those are weeks that you can't get back so if you're not happy you're fucking yourself right what's the point in doing anything if you're not happy doing it well because not every time not all the time you want to be happy sometimes why would you want to be miserable so you can enjoy being happy more? I just would rather be happier every day. But that I'm would get old. Happy. No. After a while. Not if you just keep getting happier and happier. There'd have to be a limit. No. It doesn't have to be, but it would just, if that was the only feeling, it's like a warm shower. Like after a while, it just gets hot. And imagine if it stayed the exact same temperature all the time. Or it just got hotter all the time. Eventually, it'd just get to be too well, much. Well, then it would be too hot, but... It's just too much. This isn't a shower. This is life. Right, but if you don't have any contrast, it ceases to be. So if you don't have any sad or misery or or trials, tribulations, great pains, you're not going to be able to enjoy We're still going to have sad and, and misery, and we're going to have all of that, but... You're saying you just don't have to wallow in it like some right, people. Now, that's right. a different person, different subject that would just... Be right. <laughs> a lot of people... But, you know, it's just some people, you could just hand them a, a, a fuck, dude, I went through this before. The mic, you just give them a My Chemical Romance CD and a couple of razor blades and let the problem sort itself out. Damn. Uh, <laughs> seriously. Here you go, fucker. I mean, we've all been there. We've all been there. Yeah. But you can only hang on to it for so long. Well, that's the problem with social websites is that, you know, if you're having a meltdown, share a little bit, you know, reach out for help. But if every three or four minutes you're pumping out a paragraph of bullshit. Here's the problem with that. Yeah, fucking therapist. It's one thing to reach out for help. But when people actually try to help you, fucking take the help. Well, if you're asking for it, yeah, If take you it. keep asking for help, take it. Don't keep asking for advice if you're not going to follow it. Yeah. I, you know, I, I can only advise... Otherwise, 800 gonna, times a day. <laughs> we're going to give you the emo repair kit, and you're going to get right. a My Chemical Romance CD and a fucking <laughs> razor blade. Maybe, maybe a couple of tissues. 
I just you know, like, you know. if we wanted to spruce it up, that's a fucking awesome what? idea. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I'm going to like, make some fucking emo recovery kits. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to sell them on fucking eBay. And it's going to come in a nice little pouch. It's going to have a My Chemical Romance CD, which I'll probably get sued for, but whatever. Whatever. I'm a, it's going to My Chemical Romance, a little pack of fucking Kleenex, and a fucking little pack of razor blades. You, know? <laughs> you shouldn't need more than one, but we'll go to just in just case, in case if you case need you to do it. <laughs> you know, but remember, kids, cross the street both ways. Tic tac toe that shit. <laughs> Make sure they can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Right. I cannabis radio yeah. does not support the previous condoned bullshit, so please tune that shit out or realize it's just a joke. Thank you. I have learned over the last few weeks that I can say whatever I want as long as I don't say it's a fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like, people, I just, yeah, don't need anyone suing and saying, hey, he said to go both ways. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, if you need to be told, you... Obviously. ...are the weaker link and need to fucking... Go to town. <laughs> Both ways. I just, you know, I just, I get so frustrated with people that ask me, hey, hey, like, should I do this? No, you shouldn't do that. Okay. And then they just fucking do it anyway. And then they get all butthurt when I find out that they did it anyway. And I ask them why they did it anyway. I, I was even asked, I was like, who did you hear that from? And I was like, I'm Jenny fucking Kush. I know everything. <laughs> I'd like to get you a shirt with that shit made on it, but I already got your shoes with that shit made on it, so. Yeah. It's a kind of moot point. Right. At that point. It's okay. I could wear a shirt on the day that I'm not wearing the shoes. That would just be odd. Why? (laughs) I don't know. I can do what I want. You're Jenny fucking Kush. Exactly. I'm well aware of that. (laughs) Well, all right. And if anyone doesn't believe that, just ask this guy right here. I pretty much do what I want. This is true. (laughs) Uh, But, you know, within reason. I mean, because there's times when I want to stab people, but I don't stab anybody. Yet. (laughs) Stab them with love, you're referring to, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. All right, love. Yes. It's love. Sweet love. What's love got to do with it? Was it? And for some yeah. reason, my thought, I don't know, I went into a Princess what? Bride moment there. So you know what I did today? I no, went and I wandered was, the mall. <laughs> and, like, and it was kind of boring. I kind of don't like shopping without you. <laughs> I didn't even buy anything. Nice, dude. That's weird. It was really weird. Mark this day on the calendar. Number one, they did not have my unicorn costume that I wanted. So I did not buy anything there. You'd have to get that online. No, they had it before, but they were out of it in my size. Because I don't know anyone. Yay! I don't know anyone that wears like a 38A, like bra size. Like, <laughs> that's I? like big around, possibly. What do you need that for? Because that's the corset size for the costume. Oh. So it's basically... That's if you're a uh, petite... Just, uh, but it's like 38 uh, around. So like, okay, well, I'm like 36 around. Oh, 38. The rib cage. Right. So it would be like bigger around the rib cage, but with smaller boobs. I didn't know boobs could get smaller. That's for a dude. <laughs> no, that's probably seriously for a dude. So white rainbow colored corset for a dude. Like a Rocky Mountain... A Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of shit, Maybe. you know, I, I'm sure. Because if possible. there's no boobs and it's made for a bigger framed person, like that dude, the uh, Apogea. Right. And the tent, you know, that you look at and you're like, you're always dressed like a girl. I'm pretty sure that's an Adam's apple. Right. <laughs> and you're slightly taller than me and I'm 6'2". Not saying that tall women, all tall women. Adam's are apples are dead giveaway dicks, people. But yeah, usually either Is there surgery to or, remove an Adam's apple? Mm-hmm. There is. Chop the fucking head off. <laughs> Chop, Chop their the head fucking off. head off. 
All right. Well, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm just curious. I'm sure there like, is because is there? the women that have had sex changes, you know, that are like banging hot women. I'm sure that if they can get their penis removed, they can get the Adam's apple removed. I, the Adam's apple is just a bone, right? I don't know. I think. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just though. a bone. Oh, that sounds way better. It was sounding all muffled and shit before. It was tripping me out. I didn't know how to say it until you fixed it. And it's like, oh, it was sounding all muffled. It sounded like I was talking to a tube or something. <laughs> or it's through a box of Kleenex that I'm going to give away in the emo repair kit. <laughs> <laughs> Or whatever I decided to call it. Sex pot emo repair kits. <laughs> so. <laughs> Gotta pay for the show somehow. <laughs> right. Um. So, yeah, I went there. I didn't buy anything at the mall. Then I went to the costume store where I bought stuff. <laughs> it's got an eye roll but no it was just all i bought was a pirate eye patch and a pirate wig that's it that's it really uh-huh you had free time i spent 20 dollars at a costume store that access? was it <laughs> And that's it? Yes. Did you look around at least? I mean, do you feel satisfied that you've I looked, looked around? Early? I helped a little girl pick out a bumblebee costume. Nice. <laughs> she was running around the store. She's like, all these costumes are dumb. They're dumb, 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 and I'm not wearing any. <laughs> she was only like four. She was so cute. And her mom was like ready to just start crying. <laughs> That's where you got to introduce so I, it to evil. I was say, like, here, little kid, try some of this little devil stuff. I walked up to the mom. I was like, my name's Jenny. I'm like, would you like some help? I was like, I don't even work here. <laughs> like, and I, like, I'm not dude, crazy. The mom was totally, like, relieved. I, I had a little talk with the little girl. I asked her what she likes. Um, she picked out, we, we picked out a little bumblebee costume. And her mom's going to make her a little stinger for the costume so she can sting all the kids in her class. <laughs> well, if she does it right, she could use a, a taser and a dildo. Right? <laughs> a dildo for support and a taser for a stinger. Dude, the mom was so grateful. She's like, I don't know how to thank you. And I was like, you don't have to. I was like, it was my pleasure. I was like, it was so much fun. <laughs> So yeah, I keep your kids away from me. I'm kind of crazy I like to play with other people's kids. <laughs> well, it sounds like you helped that mom, dude. So. I did. It was fun. It was way fun. Nice. And the mom is gonna be a ladybug. <laughs> nice. That's where you gotta so, yeah. get all slick and hand. Uh, I can't even give her get my a number. <laughs> oh no, that's you. Oh, wait, Sweet. what? <laughs> yeah. She was really cute. Um. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Does she have a ring on her finger? Yes, unfortunately. Fucking cute girls, stop marrying people. People, it's just Quit getting, getting dumb. married. <laughs> just getting dumb. So, so yeah, I had fun with a four-year-old at the costume store, and I only spent twenty bucks on myself. So nice. I was kind of proud. I that's a pretty good story, actually. I'm yeah. I'm quite shocked. I was entertained for the afternoon. You called me while I was doing it. I was like, I'm just playing at the costume store. <laughs> You're like, are you home? No, no, at the costume store. Pretty sure you said you were at the thrift store. No, I said costume store. <laughs> Pretty sure you said. I didn't thrift go store. to the thrift store today. Pretty sure you said thrift store. Ark has awesome costume stuff too. I found a lot of stuff at Ark. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly a whole lot cheaper. I got a sweet uh, lab coat for like a dollar ninety nine. You know, it's like right on. I'm gonna be Doctor Feelgood for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then on November 1st, I'm going to be Dr. Dickhead. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just can't say doctor without saying dickhead, you know? It's just Dr. Dickhead. You know, it's like, oh, thanks, Dr. Dickhead. <laughs> it's just, you know, fuck. But I'm going to be Dr. Feelgood for Halloween. You are? Yeah. Sweet. My own version, because, I mean, if you know the whole Motley Crue Dr. Feelgood thing, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to get that crazy, but maybe. Why not? If you're gonna go, go all out. Well, I just need a big wig and all kinds. I'll of find crazy. you a wig. I got wigs. It's got to look like Nikki Six's hair, so it's got to be black and tall and crazy. Nikki Six, just look that up. We can do this. Real simple. We can do this. 
All right. It's going to be done. So, yeah. So, yeah. Have to anyway. figure out some of that shit. And, yeah. The trick is not what I look like. It's going to be what I'll have to carry with me. <laughs> you make everyone feel good, aren't you? That's right. Except for me. <laughs> Why, you a no one? Oh, wait. What? Well, even a no one's a someone. Even and therefore no negates one? their no one. And yeah. He said, make everybody feel good except you. So that would say, are you not a one of the everybody? Are you no. outside of the realm of I'm everybody? I'm not one of everybody. Are you outside of the me. realm of everybody? I am me and only me. I am not the same as everybody. And who gives a shit? Me. Me. <laughs> Me. Me is the illusion of separation. Me is the ego. Me is the personal death. Wow. It is. <laughs> okay. We. 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 We, 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 all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Are you fondling your microphone? Just lick it. He's busting a rap, you know. <laughs> lick it. I dare you. <laughs> no. Many a motherfucker have used this microphone, and it's not a lollipop. Are you sure? Uh, if you want to lick it and find out. It might taste like one. You do it first. No. Uh, don't lick it. You know, happen. why is it guys are so afraid to <laughs> stick things in their mouths? <laughs> because... I know that many people have been in the studio, and right. I have been close to this. I'm touching it. I'm touching it right now, and it's still gross, but whatever. <laughs> it can't be much grosser than the air, but I right. still don't want to lick a uh, foamy piece of uh, <laughs> is what it is. Okay. So. I guess. Yeah. It is what it is. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Yeah. But that's okay. I have lots of ideas, but they're probably not good ideas. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Nobody. So. <laughs> so anyway, being scared. Why do we want to be scared? Why do you like to be scared? I think it's the rush. Yeah. Kind of. It's just something different. And it's nice in a controlled environment. You know, like there's different levels of being scared, okay? There's going to a scary movie and you're in a safe environment. You know that chances are somebody may fuck with you, but yeah, you'd probably be okay. You know, most of the bullshit's on the screen. Right. You know, then there's, there's other scary, you know, where, you know, somebody... Somebody might be dying, you know, and you're concerned and scared and blah, blah, blah. And then there's, well, then there's the shitty kind of scared when you're going to court and you know you're not getting to leave through the same door that you came in. Right. That's an entirely different That's kind of scared. scared. That's not the good scared or the adrenaline rush kind of scared, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that that kind of shit is for. So. That's fucked up. Isn't it, They though? can totally do it for me if they want to be. No <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. So if there's anybody out there listening to this live or in recording land on YouTube, on wherever the fuck, if that's your thing, hit us up. <laughs> right? Not that we have any pending cases or anything, but, right. you know, but for you future know, use. Just in case this should ever happen. You know, we'll, we'll, we'd absolutely like to let you pitch, pinch it for us. You know, that'd be right. great. So, yeah, cheers. Um, so I don't know, like, there's things that scare me that I really don't like to be scared from. Like, escalators. <laughs> I fucking hate escalators. Dude, I took the stairs at the mall. See, but your fear makes me smile. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Like, my fear makes you happy. <laughs> like, mm, it's it's it not so much shit. that it makes me happy. I'm not like, oh, yay, you're fucking scared. It's not No, that. you're like, hey, you're gonna get sucked under. <laughs> it amuses me. Why? Because you're afraid of a fucking escalator. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, you're standing up. There is, I mean, unless your pants, I suppose, okay, I guess there is a possibility, so never mind. But still, you know, I mean, dude, 
the worst that could happen is your pants get stuck, and then it starts to pull you under, and then it breaks your legs and <laughs> sucks you through. <laughs> But that's the worst that can happen. So what, dude? It'll stop before it gets to your waist. You know, by then somebody will come over and pull you out and you will likely live. It's nothing to stress about. You know? This is how you help me with my fear. I love it. But it'll you'll be okay. You know? I mean, think about it. I mean, what's more important? Dying or having the upper half of your body and living? <laughs> I don't want to live without the lower half of my body. I, I don't want you to live without the lower half of your body either. But that's the worst that could happen. You know what's the best that can happen? Huh? You don't have to exercise and take fucking stairs. <laughs> but then I would have to go in an elevator, which is another fear of mine. That's a little bit more legit, okay? An escalator is moving stairs. You don't even have to move. You walk, you step over That's and on. That's my problem. You it's step moving off. moving, and so I what? can't control it. So what? The, okay, realistically, the worst that can happen is that it could stop and then just drop. And moving at most, you would slide down. me want to vomit. You would slide like. down. No big deal. Now, you get in the elevator, and the cable snaps, and you plummet 50 feet <laughs> 100 feet, 200 feet to your exploding death, like we saw on um, right on Mythbusters. Uh, that yes, you crush, crumble, break, snap. The even jumping they at the end. They decided that you can't jump at the end. That doesn't do shit. If you're falling at free fall speed, the elevator will fall at about 63 miles an hour. And um, you can only jump up at about five miles an hour. They were saying about three. So if you jump so, straight yeah. up at three to five miles an hour, that's going to slow you down to, say, 57 to 60 miles an hour, still going downward. So sorry, jumping at the end of the elevator. If it falls, Basically, you're fucking going to die. Basically, what will happen is you'll jump up, hit your head, get knocked out, and then die. <laughs> and then die, yeah. So just keep that in mind. If you're in an elevator and it snaps, there's nothing you can do. You're fucked. I'm more, I'm not even so afraid of an elevator falling. I'm more afraid of it just getting stuck. I don't want to be stuck in it. I got stuck in an elevator once. I was only about five years old. If you'd have been stuck with Steven Tyler, you could have had love in an elevator. I was only five. (laughs) That's fucked up. If he was a priest, it wouldn't have been. Oh, but you're a girl. I'm a girl. (laughs) On that note, we should take a break. All right, let's go to break. Oh, we're fucking nuts. <laughs> Yay, we'll be back. The Law Offices of Vets and Maiden and Mats provide criminal defense, medical marijuana defense, and advice about setting up and running medical marijuana centers, optional premises, cultivation operations, and infused product manufacturing businesses throughout Colorado. With offices in Denver and Aspen, we can offer assistance throughout the entire state of Colorado. Give us a call at 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or visit us online at warrenetson.com. That Matt had a smoke shop has everything from space glass to butane and butane accessories. I tell you what. Located at 6901 West Colfax in Lakewood and now at 2615 Walnut Street in Denver. Oh, God damn it, Reclaim, put your pants back on. The Hemp Connoisseur is Colorado's premier guide to hemp culture. Our mission is to elevate the image of the medical cannabis and hemp industries to create widespread acceptance of the cannabis sativa plant. You can find the latest issue of the Hemp Connoisseur at more than 200 7-Elevens, your favorite dispensary, MMJ doctor offices, and tattered covered bookstores. Do you consider yourself a cannabis connoisseur? Then come be a part of the Hemp Connoisseur's first cannabis championship. Visit us at thcmag.com for info on how to sample the best medicine Colorado has to offer. Let's face it, rules and regulations are complicated, especially in the field of medical marijuana. Let Medical Marijuana 101 help you get through the compliance process. We can also explain to you your employment requirements, your employees, and your business. But our work doesn't stop there. Our experience in cultivation ranges from the design of grow rooms to the diagnosis and resolution of grow problems. Visit us at www.medicalmarijuana101.com or call 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Welcome back, everyone. This is Sex Pot Radio on this freezing Tuesday night. It's not too terribly bad outside, but it's, I want it's fire. not. It's not too. Yes. Dude, fire. Remember the other night I really wanted a fire and we went to Jack in the Box and they had a fire? Okay, so let's discuss the irony of that then, shall we? Because, first off, um, yeah. Number wanted one, a fire I and wanted it, to stay it wasn't going to work out. <laughs> so that didn't work out. So it's like, okay, right. whatever. And we were doing whatever it is that we were doing. We had somebody else. We were going home and we said, let's get some food. Oh, it's too late. 
oh, this was from after working on the haunted yeah. house. So let's get some food. Well, it's too late, you know, but and we're still hungry. And we're trying to decide where to eat. And, and the whole I time wanted... it's like no fast food, no fast food, because it's just poison. Like most but all I fast food is just crap. But I wanted curly fries. And so, but we got to the point where we realized we just don't have time for a regular restaurant. So sad enough, fast food it is. So then the curly fries thing came up, and that pretty much went to Jack in the and Box. And then somebody wanted tacos, though. Only while we were there, and that was just no, because said, I was high. you wanted tacos before, because we pulled into the parking lot, and there was a Taco Bell there. No, because you said, sometimes I just want a fucking Doritos taco, so that's why I brought that okay, up. Okay, Dorito tacos are awesome, especially if you're drunk. I wasn't drunk that night, but if you're drunk, Dorito tacos are awesome. <laughs> if you're high, they're pretty awesome, too. <laughs> right? So, okay, so we go to Jack in the Box. They have curly fries, they have chicken strips, they have tacos, and a fireplace. It was pretty fucking sweet. Kind of took care of all of it. All I needed was my rig and uh, to not have anybody bum rush me if I would have taken a dab afterwards. And I bet they would have let us. I could have pulled out my Atmos Raw and vaped the fuck out of it and right. would have been totally fine. It's amazing the amount of places I've vaped that in and, and not had any issues. You can't right. blow it into somebody's face and not have them go, hey, what the fuck? But... If you know, it's you can get pretty fucking ripped as you walk through places. The Atmos Raws are pretty cool. Yes, they are. Um, Atmos has come out with a few other several new things. Vape devices. There's this thing called the the Atmos Cloud, and it looks a lot like how I remember the thermo looking. But you take off the top and you just drop a chunk of shit right on the top, and I guess it's got the the raw coil. Um, right. right there, and so it's like an easy loading raw, but it, it's not quite the same. Yeah, not quite. Um, I've heard a few reviews on that. It's still not quite the raw. No, like I tried it tonight, and it wasn't too bad. You know, it's, it's There's c- actually a dual-chambered Atmos now. See, and which, I didn't like it from just looking at it, and I haven't tried right, it yet. Right, I'm but kind of, you know. Visual analyzation. I want to see how it works. Like, I want people to use it and see how it works for them. Because that's a cool idea, but it's a WIC system. Yeah, and I don't and see how WIC that could work. WIC systems tend to not work with dabs. Well, you'd have to cut it with the uh, propylene glycol and what other things, you know, and it's just, I guess right. what I is my main ingredient for my e-cigarette, for my nicotine. And it's like, you know, all I want is the nicotine, God damn it! I don't need all this other crap. So what we need is a raw with two chambers. One with nicotine and one with THC. No, because I like That's the- a good fucking idea. <laughs> God damn. No, I really like the idea of being able to load a sativa in one side and an indica in the other. And it has three buttons to it. So you can smoke one chamber, chamber A, chamber B, or both chambers for a hybrid. Right, but... Again, you come to the issue of it's still a wick system, and how right. the fuck do you get your Earl in there without thinning it out? It's totally, yeah. I just, I don't. Like, it might work if it was full of CO2 oil, but with CO2 oil being on average $50 a gram, what the fuck are you going to, how are you going to fill up two of those chambers? It's going to be a $100 chamber. And then after you uh, rip it a few times, I would imagine that, like all the other pens, it's just going to start to taste like it's regurgitated. Right. And I haven't really had the pleasure of having CO2 oil that has tasted uber good. We did have some of that from Evo Labs the other night right. or last Wednesday that was actually pretty good. It was it didn't look as good as we had wanted, but it turned out to be pretty not bad. It was kind of weird. Like I was here for that and it seemed strange. But it it was but. smooth. I mean real smooth. I mean I hit that exhale and it was like, whoa. But I don't know if it was just because when we take a dab, uh it's but see, when it's viscous like that, the weight is different. Because when you get a gram and it's in a little itty bitty jar, you know, as opposed to taking. I mean, so we, was it a gram of hash or was it a gram of hash and water? It was CO2 oil. Right. That but has water in it naturally. It down, no, it's so. not that they watered it down. We had talked to them that night and they uh-huh. said that it's just. The, the machine that they use, the CO2 machine, apparently just. Water just gets in there naturally, and they just didn't get it all purged out. But since our review on our show last week, um, on our IDAB show, they uh, said that they're working on improving their tech and getting more of that water out and whatever. They were really excited. They they all listened to it. It was crazy. I really like that some people, you know, take it as encouragement to do better 
Whereas some places, well, some people kind of pissed. just are are douchebags, and you know it's like you can give constructive criticism without being a Ritz dickhead. You know, I mean, there's just a way that you can right. just be a fucking asshole, just right. a huge asshole, and and be of no use. You know, except to be a punching bag for anybody right. that wants to meet you. But you can also give constructive criticism and then just improve, 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 and then all of a sudden your shit's just bomb. Right. You know, like we've been improving our tech um, as often as possible, you know, and continually testing it and trying to make it better, and it just well, it helps to have haters. Well, all of this still is truly new. Like, ain't, nobody's really truly an expert on it. There's, it's only, you know? It's only an expert on repetition and basic right. knowledge of chemistry and understanding of the elements. right. So, I mean, I, you can be an, a, yeah, I don't know, yeah. I have to agree. No one's really an expert just yet. For and if sure. they are, they're not really coming out and making it to be too public. Right. I don't know. I guess there's just really no one right way to do this all. And some people think that they know the very right way, but whatever. It is what it is. It's science. People are more worried about popularity in my book than they are about the patients, and I think that should change. Yeah. But whatever. I don't know anything. I'm not an abstract artist. So. You sure do post in the group a lot for not being an abstract mm -hmm. artist. Really? Yes. Just I only post about what things I know. I make sure I know first. Usually when I post, it's about the Atmos Raw. Or telling you all to like, keep up the good work. <laughs> That's about it, though. I think. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I just wanted to give you shit because I see your post in there. And it's like, what the fuck are you posting in there for? You're not an EA. Fine. Maybe I'll just get out of that group. Fine. You guys have your own fucking club. I don't even care. I didn't want to be in your stupid club anyway. <laughs> I'm going to have my own club. <laughs> I don't even it's know who. Have beer and hookers. <laughs> oh, screw it. Forget beer, the beer. Beer, hookers, titties, and vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No penises or extracts, okay? <laughs> I don't even know how I ended up in that group. I really don't. Like, I'm probably... I'm like one of the few people that are not extract artists that is in the group I never asked to be added but I was added and I kind of enjoy being in there it kind of makes me feel like I'm on the inside of a special club you are I am you are I made hash once it was fucking gross <laughs> <laughs> no actually I've made it more than once in oh yeah, the, I remember now. The first few times that I made it, it was all right, and then I made it with a couple of guys that thought that they knew everything. And it looked like green. They insisted on agitating pellets. about twenty pounds of trim for like a half an hour with a drill, <laughs> like with a big paddle on the end, and it was the greenest hash I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I told them that was too long. Yeah. Nobody wanted to listen to me. We were using, like, 30-gallon bags. I don't know. Like, we were using one of the big steel galvanized trash cans. I would love to have seen this. Dude, it was insane. I was the only one that really did any work. And they just kept telling me how to do it. So I did it. And, dude, oh, my God. It was crazy. You should have seen it. Like, the trash can started leaking on the kitchen floor. <laughs> and so there was all this keef, like, running out the bottom of the trash can. So we had to carry this whole trash can full of ice and trim and water <laughs> to the bathtub. We got it into the bathtub, three of us lifting it. We get it into the bathtub and mixed for a long time. It was forever, and it should not have been that long. I told them that that seemed way too long. It just sounds like you guys thrashed the plant matter, released all it the It was chlorophyll. super dry, so, like, just touching it, it fell apart. Damn. So it was just... Yeah, but see, that's good, though, but you right? have to pack it right. And <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you guys did, but... 
It should have gone into... It, you, Basically, it was layers of ice and shrimp. See, and I've seen that method... And some water on, on in bags. Like, YouTube, in I've bags. seen people make it that way, and it's like, that's just... It, it was overly beat It's a terrible shit. way to do it. It's terrible. It was beat to shit. And trying to get the bags, like, dude, all respect, the dudes that I was making it with were a couple of pussies. I was the one that had to lift the bags up <laughs> and hold them up while they patted the water out of the bottom. Because the water doesn't just flow out of these bags. No. Do not use big bags. <laughs> like, dude, it is pointless to use big bags for The five-gallon bags are big enough. They're, they're hefty, and you only still want to fill them up halfway because the two and a half gallons isn't too bad. It's like, I'm not sure what size these but, were, but they fit in the trash can. Like, they fit yeah, in the Yeah, they're probably the 30-gallons or the 20 or something, 10-gallon. <laughs> not even. I don't know, but... Fuck. I stood with it's, one foot on each side of the tub and, like, held the bag up. Yeah, fuck that. It was crazy. My arms hurt so bad when I was done. It sucked. And then it was shitty hash. <laughs> that was even better. Yeah, that was just terrible. <laughs> Dude, it was green. It was so green. Well, that was terrible. Like, I, it made me sad. I was ashamed of it. Like, I wanted no part of anything to do with the rest of it. I wouldn't smoke it. <laughs> it yeah, was... But we could have taken that hat or that, that weed and blasted it nowadays and made right, some Right, right. And this was right a stuff. few years ago. So yeah. it's, you know, things have advanced. I, I'm pretty sure I could make, even on my own, I could maybe make better hash than that. But water hash is a lot easier. The, there's just key tricks. You know, like yeah, it, one key trick: don't beat it for thirty minutes. <laughs> right. yeah. You can use a washing machine or, or some kind of special machine. Right. But a, a really good trick, a little inside information for like for your ice extraction or your, mm -hmm. your cold water extraction or whatever. Dry ice. Dry ice is the secret. Dry ice. Dry ice is magical. I kind of wish there was video from the day that we made that because it was fucking That would be hilarious. fucking funny Dude, to see. I would love I would to like watch to it now. I would like to, too. I would love to watch those two telling me what I was supposed to do and me arguing and being like, fine, I'll just fucking do it your way. Now, that would be scary to watch. <laughs> like, you know, that video. That would be something good scary. You know, it's just like I there's points in my life where I've just learned to concede and be like, whatever. I guess you're right. I'm going to let you fuck up <laughs> because you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always fun when i let people do that and then in the end they weren't right and i'm like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so anyway um we have some things coming up like tomorrow's idab radio yep what are you guys doing tomorrow uh, you're not gonna be there i don't think i'm gonna be there i'm gonna still be working on the haunted house we got tomorrow and thursday to get that shit finished and there's three there's probably a good three days worth of work still to do. So hopefully, Ugh. like, he's got a last build day um, coming out Thursday. But, like, I, I need more than – I mean, I need solid two days. Solid two days, especially because of the haters that are having the – Things got to be changed. Fire department and but all that. But we questioned a couple of those things even before. You know, I knew – I well, dude, like, I know from the previous years that certain things have to be done a certain way. It's just our back hallway. But see, we have to... There's just a lot of shit that needs to be done. So, um, yeah, fuck, I don't know. But I want to talk about the haunted house a little bit more before we end the show. Okay. So we'll have to get to that here in another few minutes. Okay. I think we got, what, 15 minutes left tonight? We do 20 minutes? about 20 minutes left. So... so do we... Um, do we what? Uh, uh. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know why that's a fucking funny noise, but that is just made Dude, me laugh in all honesty, like people that see us eating at restaurants and shit have got to think we are the weirdest fucking people on the planet. I don't know, dude. All you got to do is go to Walmart and you'll automatically see weird. Right, 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 right. Like, but we're like at Village Inn and I'm like showing him my food in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like but a I don't think jackass. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares. Probably you not. Know, I don't think they don't look know. around and they're like, Herbert, Herbert, look. <laughs> Look, that lady is showing that gentleman her food. <laughs> the last thing that anyone problems. in a restaurant like that combines in a sentence when they're talking about me is the word lady. <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't know any better. So, 
Well, look at that. It's <laughs> nine o'clock. We should take a little break. And okay, have a brief let's moment. cut the break, and, and then we'll talk about what's coming up over we'll the next couple of weeks. Come back, have our last few minutes, talk about some stuff. Yes, sir. Have a nice personal moment with you fine folks. All right. <laughs> Not all of you. Maybe. One at a time. Ooh, spankings. Yes. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. Let's go to commercial. <laughs> Trouble with the law, or maybe you're looking to start a medical marijuana business? The law firm of Edson, Maiton, and Matz can help. Attorneys Warren Edson, Lauren Maiton, and Chris Matz offer a wide range of criminal defense-related assistance and cannabis legal services. Call the team of legal professionals ready to help you or your business out today. 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or check out the website, warrenedson.com. That's warrenedson, E-D-S-O-N.com. Hi, I'm Josh Stanley. And I'm Jesse Stanley. Two of the brothers here from National Geographic's American Weed. And we'd like to invite you to come into our dispensaries in Dispensary in Colorado Springs. Come in for the most pure organic strain selection in Colorado. It's all hand-grown by the Stanley Brothers, especially for our patients. So come in and visit us at our two locations, East Platte and West Colorado. And remember, always be kind to each other. Dixie Elixirs, the patient's choice for alternative medical marijuana treatment, brings you Dixie Botanicals' all-natural topical therapy, including massage oil, pain relief salve, and our newest product, Dixie Botanicals' pain relief lotion. This all-natural lotion pairs beautifully with Dixie Botanicals' bath salt for a deeply relaxing experience with no psychotropic effect. Like us on Facebook, Dixie Elixirs, or join us at www.dixieelixirs.com. Com. Are you a medical marijuana patient or interested in finding out how to become one? Contact Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. Conveniently located on Hamden and Tamarack in the Whole Foods parking lot behind Proof of the Pudding, Mile High Wellness offers a wide variety of edibles, hashes, and some of Colorado's top strains. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. 3525 South Tamarack, Suite 110, on the corner of Hamden and Tamarack. 720-382-8516. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. That Mad Hatter Smoke Shop has everything from space glass to butane and butane accessories, I tell you what. Located at 6901 West Colfax in Lakewood and now at 2615 Walnut Street in Denver. Oh, God damn it, Reclaim, put your pants back on. <laughs> that's lovely. I love that commercial. You know, it makes me laugh every time. It is a great commercial, even though the... That's it. That's yeah, all I'm going to say about it. That's, but that's a great commercial. It. it was a good commercial. Butane and butane accessories. It was a combined idea through a few of us, and it was pulled off yeah, well. Yeah, it was nice. I, yeah. It's not too often that you come back and you're like, oh, that was a splendid commercial. Right? You know, because commercials right? fucking suck, you know, in my opinion. It's that's my opinion. Point. I fucking hate commercials. I don't like to be advertised to. I um, like commercials if I'm watching them for entertainment value. If Like during the so Super Bowl, like, they're entertaining, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's just advertised people telling you like what, what you want. Like there's a specific and, commercial that I like to watch over and over again. I like the Quadricorn commercials. The Quadricorn. <laughs> like, it's a have Quadricorn. No, I haven't. Is there the another cow? one? With the cow? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've seen the cow one. Like, there's four of them. You too. And I love them. I really like these commercials. In fact, at the event Friday night at the um, Hemp Connoisseur Championships at Castleman's, there was a horse head mask there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there was cotton candy on sticks. On a stick. I collected three horns for that hat, that head. <laughs> I, I needed another one because I wanted to make it into a quadricorn. Okay. <laughs> It never happened. I left. <laughs> but I really wanted to see this big horse head turned into a quadricorn. <laughs> I would have rode that fool around for an hour. <laughs> you know, if I was an outsider listening to this, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. It's a quadricorn. Yeah. Sounds like no, a good time. This is a quadricorn. Sounds like a good time. Somebody. I have a slight unicorn fetish, okay? Yeah, this is a new thing, too. No, it's not really new. I've just re-embraced it. Because at my mom's house in her attic, I've probably got about 500 unicorns. <laughs> it's... <laughs> 
everything when I was little had to be purple or a unicorn. You're such a dork. I only ate purple vitamins. My cakes all had unicorns on them. You're a dork. I'm not a dork. I even had purple unicorns. You're a dork. No. No, I'm not. But that's okay. Totally not a dork. It's okay. I have a nice chillum at home that I can't use that has unicorns on it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cute. I it like it. It's pretty sweet. It is. And it has unicorns, so that makes it awesome. You're still a dork. Whatever. It's okay, though. Because dorks are sexy. <laughs> so are nerds. <laughs> Right. Dipshits, though, will never be sexy. Right. So, yeah. And shit dippers are just gross. Well, sort of. It like. just depends nah, on your for context. Real. Yeah, they are. <laughs> pretty much, all in all, it's pretty gross. But, yeah. you know, like, I'm still not opposed to giving you a good old fashioned, how you doing, ass fucking. <laughs> You're totally opposed to taking it. So it's still never going to happen. But, exactly. That uh, still doesn't mean I'm not. Apt to put it out there. Right. So, uh, <laughs> guess that'd make me a pooper dipper. Poop dipper. That's just disgusting. <laughs> Shit poker. You know, poop like, dipper. I don't know. It's still fucking gross either way you look at it. Yeah. And I poop from there, so fuck off. <laughs> and then she said, "But I poop from there." <laughs> While she was crying. Uh, with tears why? In her eyes. Why do people? I don't understand. Anyway, whatever. What else? What else you got? I, okay, else? so anyway, next week we have some awesomeness happening. Oh yeah. We do. Um, number we? one, the amazing, number one, the amazingly beautiful K Sass will be in the studio next Tuesday. Oh, please come out, K Sass. I'm gonna tie her up. If she doesn't, I'm gonna tie her up, put her in my trunk, and bring her. <coughs> Doesn't she live in the mountains? She does, but she just moved, and I feel really bad because she invited me to her housewarming party, and I didn't go. So maybe that's why she didn't come today. <laughs> I have not heard about um, no housewarming party. I didn't tell you about it because I was invited, not you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sweet, and that's why we didn't go. <laughs> no, yeah. um, she moved into, you know, Dosher Glass, correct? Sounds familiar. Dosher. Remember that really pretty dish that I wanted at the shop? It was like this amazing, I don't know, like it had like the grooves cut into the inside of it. Sounds familiar. It was a dosher dish. It was kind of a pink fumed piece. Hmm. Very pretty. Awesome. Swirly awesomeness. Yeah, you know, if I saw it, I'm sure. Uh, you would absolutely know. Like, it wasn't one of those two trippy cool ones, was yes. it? The The yes, $250 two dollar ones? Them. Those were fucking sweet. That is dosher. Nice. Dosher made those. So okay. Mr. Dosher and Miss Case ass got a house. Oh, are they... Uh, yeah. Dosher sass? They're so cute. <laughs> Dosher sass. <laughs> Dosher sass. Combine your Facebook pages when you guys got to no. delete yours. No, people do not do that. It could be like Benifer. The, uh, or all these other stupid people throughout history. Okay, so over the last week, I deleted about 550 people. You have plenty of room for friends, then you dipshit. I can Stop fit telling people. 30 friends, <laughs> and you have to know me. So they have to dad. buy your spot. Yeah, you have to buy your spot. $1,000 a friend spot. Pay me, and you can be my friend. <laughs> <You're a douche. laughs> no, that is not how I'm it just is. just kidding. No, for real. Like I just want to keep those spots for people that I actually know. What's the point in having 5,000 friends if you only know fucking two or 300 of them? I want to know them all. Personally, like I seriously want to delete people that I don't know anymore. So if you are on Jenny's Facebook page, uh, she wants to know you personally. So send her a message right now. But it needs to be a creative and not stupid message. Because if it's a stupid message and not creative, chances are I'm going to delete you. Yeah. I had somebody, I actually posted that I was going to remove people the other day. And somebody said, well, good thing we're related because his name on Facebook is Kush. And my response to that was, no, you're not. Delete. 
and I deleted him. <laughs> so. <laughs> you're a fucked up person. I am not a fucked up person. Yeah, you are. Like, if you think you're special because your last name on Facebook is Kush, you're not Jenny fucking Kush. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. No, but for real, like, you're not related to me. If you were related to me, you would not be on that Facebook. <laughs> So anyway, I removed people that had no profile picture, that had profile pictures that were angry birds. Who cares? Fuck Facebook. That <laughs> had combined Facebooks with their significant other. <laughs> yeah. Those people went away. <laughs> There's a lot of those. It's amazing. There I mean, was a lot. Like Get rid of about 150 people if you do that. Actually, it's about 300 people because it's two people in one account. <laughs> right, so people, if you're going to do that, ask yourself this. Would you pay the money to buy a domain name with the same title as what you would title your fucking Facebook page? No? All right, then don't do it to your Facebook page. You have your own entity. Keep it to yourself. do not want to see what's in your Facebook. I do not want you to see what's in my Facebook. I, would I don't want to see what's in your Facebook. To my Facebook, scary. I'm sure it's just horrid crap. Like, yeah, like. Oh no, I'm sure it's. Glass. I get a lot of pictures of boobs. A lot of boob pictures. Actually, my Facebook's kind of entertaining. Like I've shown Jeremy my newsfeed. Like it's boobs, ass, weed, boobs, ass, weed, boobs, 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 ass and weed. It's kind of fun. I get sidetracked a lot by boobs. <laughs> I, I tend to not get a lot done. <laughs> right. I, what else? Anyway, so K Sass is going to be coming and talking about the Colorado. 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 K Sass will be here to talk about the Colorado Project nice. party at a certain glass studio on Broadway. At 6 o'clock p.m. <laughs> An illusion? On, oh, I can say it because... On October 20th. I am not afraid. I'm not afraid either. You guys need to order some of those pencil dabbers up at Mad yeah, Hatter's Smoke Shop on 1691 West Colfax. We need a lot of things. Yes. We have a lot of things. People need to come check it out. I sold my favorite piece of glass in the store the other day. Yep, the spine I lock. I was sad. It was a spine lock. Beautiful piece. It went to my friend Earl Ripper. You guys need to is... order some fucking pencil dabbers. Okay, okay. Because I want to buy one. We need pencil dabbers. Okay, that's on my list of things I need. And I get a good discount at Mad Hatter's. <laughs> yes. And you will too if you come down and tell them that you heard if about you, it on Sex Pot Radio. If you come down you mention Sex Pot Radio, we will give you a hookup. You guys better because I just advertised for you. No, we always give people. I know, I'm just kidding. If people come in and say that they know me... I'm like, okay, I don't know if I know you, but here's a discount. Jenny, bullshit. You're like, bitch, you don't know me. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you are? You want a fucking discount? Suck a dick. <laughs> Suck a dick. Get out the door. It's the people that come in all cocky that are like, you going to give me the homie discount, baby? Yeah, I don't know. And you. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, you get 2% off, okay? And then I'm going to charge you the 5% asshole tax <laughs> right, so actually I, you're paying three percent extra dickhead <laughs> like, like, you're gonna be dr dickhead <laughs> drives me crazy like don't come in like you my best friend if i don't know you like and it's always like these cocky ghetto gangster boys that got their pants down to their knees that want me to give them a hookup baby i'm like it's called the belt loop <laughs> Called the belt. That's they your hookup. ballers. They coming in there for a metal fucking pipe. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> can you give me like thirty percent off? I can't afford this. It's five ninety nine. Um. Anyway, so case ass next week. Colorado project, um, which is on October twentieth at Illusion Glass Galleries on Broadway here in Denver, at six o'clock p.m. So she'll be coming in to talk about that. We might have to tie her up, just for fun. Um, also, Michael from Green Jeans Reggae is coming down with the band, um, and they're going to talk about their show that they are putting on October 18th at Cervantes. Nice. Where's Cervantes at? It's, it's on like 26th and Welton. 26th and Welton, which is 
pretty much down the street from the other Mad Hatter's location, which is at 26th and Walnut. Mm-hmm. Correct. Far, huh? In downtown Denver. Downtown Conveniently Denver. located right next to MMD. Um, get your meds, get your pipe. Medical marijuana dispensary. Yes. yes. Which is right across from Castleman's, where we were last Friday. How splendid. Awesomeness. So yeah, anyway, um, they're going to do a little acapella. It's acapella, right? No instruments? <laughs> no instruments? Yes. They're going to do a little slight performance for us. No instruments or no power? No instruments. So you said they were going to do acoustic jam. Maybe acoustics. I don't, dude, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I need sure to read do. the message. Read the message. <laughs> do it later, though. Yeah. What else is on the list? So anyway, we got four minutes. That's what we're going to do next week. And then the Are you going to spank her? Because I did not hear anything about a fucking spanking. Quesas, I am going to tie you up, bend you over, and spank your ass. You'd be damn lucky if there's not a dildo here, girl. (laughs) We should have Miss Samantha Brown come down for that one. Is she a dildo? She's a passions party expert. Bam! And um, actually, she will be coming in November. Will she? Yes. Does she plan these things? (laughs) Yeah. We all plan. I'll be coming in November. (laughs) Some of us are coming until November. (laughs) It's just going to be all kinds of fucked. (laughs) Want to get fucked? It's a passion party. Uh, (laughs) Woohoo! Anyway. Uh, uh, Anyway, so that's what's going on Um, tomorrow night. I dab radio. I dab radio on I cannabis radio. And then Thursday night is Overgrow the Radio with Stickman. And THC. And the Hemp Connoisseur video Digital magazine. magazine. From what, four to five? Four to five mountain time. And then Overgrow the Radio is what time? Seven to nine. Seven to nine. And then Monday. It's Monday night with Georgia. It's the lovely Georgia. Not just with Georgia, but with the lovely Georgia. Lovely. Lovely Georgia, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. but it's, it's the lovely Georgia. And then Tuesday night, wrapping it back around with the Stanley Brothers, and then Sex Pot Radio. And then those wacky fuckers from Sex Pot Radio. I don't. I've heard that they completely lost their minds. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyway, those of you that are out and about this weekend, come on down to the Circus of Fear. Yeah, the I was gonna 3D. say I want to talk about the circus a little yes. bit more before we. Before we wrap up this fun showing of Sex Pot Radio. It's Circus of Fear 3D. It's the Circus of Fear. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. From the next three weeks. Yep. And then it'll be Halloween night and then and Hallows, All Hallows Eve. The well, 30th and the 31st. Wait, All Hallows Eve is. So it's Devil's Night and All Hallows Eve because yes. All Hallows Eve is Halloween. So Tuesday Mwah. and Wednesday, Halloween week. Yes. So, and that's located at Santa Fe and South Evans. It's one block north of Evans on Santa Fe. It's in the Scrubs uh, car wash area parking lot. You really can't miss it, but at night you might. But we got some spotlights and all that kind of neat stuff. If you're afraid of clowns, the best way to conquer your fear is to be in a controlled environment where, yes, it's there are clowns, but you are being controlled. Well, you're not necessarily being controlled, but it, it is. Uh and that way it'll really help you get through it. Right. Now, if you're just out wandering around and a fucking clown kind of follows you around, you're, right. you're going to be fucked. And you start to have a panic attack, you're, you're just shit up shit creek. You know, so really, I would invite you to come out and, and explore those fears. But when we say explore those fears, now every haunted house says, oh, it's really scary, you know, but like... Not every house deals with clowns because clowns scare even some of the scarers. So it's it's a genuine fear, you know? I mean, we can scare you so bad that you will have nightmares for the rest of your life. <laughs> but seriously, folks, uh, bring a diaper. It's a 3D haunted it's house. It's 3D. You get special chroma depth technology, 3D technology. So you wear these special glasses and walk around this magical, glowing, fun house. There's uh, clowns. There's freak shows. There's all kinds there's of things. There's fire performance. Jumpy castles. There's going to be haunted games, circus a games. A bungee trampoline. And all for grown-ups, mind and you. And carnival food. 
Yes. So, um, come on out. It's going to be a good time. Carnival and it's free to come out prices. and to hang out. But the games cost, as far as I know, the and it costs to go through the haunt. But there's all kinds of little packages that you can buy and get all kinds of access to cool shit. Yep. And if you come down to Mad Hatter Smoke Shop, I will be giving out $5 off coupons. So, you know, that's a fucking deal. And, <laughs> and bring your ticket stub back to Mad Hatter's after you go through the... Circus of Fear 3D Haunted House, and we'll give you 25% off. Well, God yeah. damn, if you're going to buy a $100 piece, that's like giving you $25. <laughs> you exactly. Know? So I mean, so that's know? already a good deal right there. Holy shit. You come right. get glass, you get a coupon to get scared, you get to come get more glass. Yay! All right, that works out well for everybody. Win-win for everyone. And you get to see me. Because I will be at Mad Hatter's, and then I will also be in the ticket booth at the haunted house. Right. It's like I'm everywhere. And there may be a <laughs> Boro Pirate uh, adventure yes. It's slightly involved. possible that when you hand over your 3D glasses at the end, you can tell them that you're with Boro Pirates, play a special game, win some glass or popcorn or Absolutely free. items. Yes. Absolutely. And so, just in case, if the world ends at the end of this year, like some people say it might, I really don't think it's gonna. Um, I think that it ended a long time ago and we're already living in the aftermath. But, uh, just in case, if all fuck breaks loose, you know, you got a couple of months left. We're down to, eh, if you count it down to the solstice, it's a little over 60 days. So, you know, get out there and live a little. Conquer some fucking fears. You know, you don't want to be sitting at the end of the world fucking wetting your pants because crazy shit's going on outside because you passed up this opportunity on Halloween, motherfucker. So, you know, get out there. Do some shit. Even if it's not our haunted house, go out there and get scared. Allow yourself to pee your pants a little. You know, bring a diaper. Then you won't even feel bad. So, but, since uh, I think I should throw this out there, I don't know, um, but I would imagine that throughout these 11 scary, terrifying days that the circus may need some volunteers. So if you're interested in being a volunteer for a haunted house, not even for a haunted house, dude, that just sounds stupid. If you are interested in being a motherfucking circus performer, scaring the fuck out of people, people, we may have a position for you. And believe it or not, it won't be on your knees unless you're hot. (laughs) And then I got a job for you planting tulips. So, (laughs) let me be honest. This is sex pot. We can do that here. Yes, yes, we can. So, uh, but no, seriously, if if it's something that you may be interested in. If you're interested uh, in volunteering, go to circusoffear3d.com. Because I can't stress enough. Follow like, the link to volunteer. So let me let me put it this way. Let's kind of sum it up here. Have you ever had a bad day? Is your boss pissing you off? Has your teacher given you a hard time when you were growing up? Hell, on that note, did your parents give you a hard time growing up? Is that bully down the street pissing you off? Did that motherfucker cut you off on your way to work today? Now is your chance to get back in society. Don a clown costume and make the person in front of you shit their pants. You too can have revenge on society. Come on down today. Talk to Circus of Here's 3D now. (laughs) All right. Awesome. I hope to see you all at the circus. Yeah. Santa Fe and Evans. Fucking A. Fucking A. So, well, thank you for so, tuning yeah. in this week. It's been quite quite sultry with your dress there. I, I can't help but purview um, through the camera. Wow. You know, um, I just can't. I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's fun. And it's awesomely fun. So <laughs> next time, maybe we'll have to go something a little more see-through. Um, <laughs> but, you know. And maybe uh, for our costume party coming up here sometime soon, we can... October See if we can 23rd. push the boundaries of what we can get uploaded right. to um, YouTube. Possibly. Yeah. All right. You all have a great night. Thanks for joining us here on Sex Pot Radio. We it's love you. Wonderful Tuesday. I love everybody. And if you're still clothed, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get your fucking clothes off. Get naked. <laughs>